What up, you two? I am the Colossal D! And welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club! Oh, there's the screen. <laughs> so, last time we did another cutscene with Siori, shared our poems, and we're planning for the festival. And we did some po some poem performances. My favorite part was I was performing to all the girls, and they're all looking at me. It's pretty cool, right? It's so right now. I'm just let's get on to the game. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. <laughs> uh huh. Where were you? Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out for the festival, too! Ah! Oh, I can't wait for the festival! It's gonna be great! Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah! I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food! You sound a bit like Siori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Ah, you mean like calamari. I love calamari. Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on! Are you saying you don't like squid? You, all of people? Eh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you all of people? Because it's right in your name, Monica. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Huh? Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as yours or Siori's anyway. Excuse me. Where is Siori anyway? Oh, there you are. Siori's sitting at a desk in the corner room, looking down at nothing. Hey, Siori. I... Eh? Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. You can tell, talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Siri shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. Dakota, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Siori recently? Anything up with her? Is what do you mean? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Dakota. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. 
I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Because you're the president. Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh? You sure about that? She seems a little like she wanted to be left alone. You sh Are you sure? Maybe she just had a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Dakota. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but... Ciara talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Siori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it has always been. <laughs> You're so funny, Dakota. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's how she is when she's around you. Ah! I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I do? And what do I know anyway? I need mean, to judge the conclusions. So she should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her. So try not to think about it for now. Ah. Alright. Something's fishy going on. There is something fishy going on. Okay, everyone! Why don't we show our poems now? Okay. We'll start with Monica, the usual. Hi, Dakota. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would make me happy to see. It'll also make me happy. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. <laughs> it's kind of funny. How so? No, no, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems, Siori's poems, have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? Ah, uh, I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't seen, been seeing as much as of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see. I see. That reminds me. About how Sierra's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Ah, uh, well... Dakota, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. Alright. Just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sierra's been acting so much happier ever since she joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem for you now, alright? Err. Uh, alright. The lady knows everything. An old tale tells a lady who wonders earth, the lady who knows everything. She is the lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift in the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend all is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Twilight sky. So one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall and fall, and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and a forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her in the eyes to find out no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. 
I found every answer of all which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And we breathe. She blows me back afloat. And I pick up a gust of wind. I see. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to forget it, philosophical or anything. But it was kind of in my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you may know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to someone you put so much into. But if you find some other people who enjoy writing, then share becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your poem is good, okay, or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little lit uh, don't you think? That's my advice today. Thanks for listening. Okay, Yuri. Ah, uh, decided to try something different today? I guess so. Is that good or bad? Well, neither. I have my preferences, but it would be unfair for me to call something good or bad based on that. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have to become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right, do you want to share your poem now? Okay, here. Beach. Album. I'll just read in my head for now. It's kind of hard to read Riri's writing. You guys can pause if you want to read. I mean, just rewind the video a bit and reread something that you can't even read. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to make a meta take a medical approach to it. You say like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh. You haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like that I have particular interest in her writing style. I just went with a request, but, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah. I think I agree. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Okay, Natsuki. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I see you're, what you're going for, but it's just really not my style. Not really my st I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. 
Well, of course, I'm at least I'm at least trying. Why are you so initially invested in my poems anyway? Isn't there more of a compliment to me? Eh? The, no! Gross! It's not like I, I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me anyway? That's... Um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang here, even if I put... to put up with you. Gah! Gah! Now it connects with my stomach. Oh! Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was... just joking. Oh, I know! Don't worry, I was too! <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. I guess she elbowed me in the stomach, even though I felt nothing in reality. Anyway! I'll be your beach. Similar to Yuri. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome! Isn't it? I enjoy running and slow running in the s I just like the how the sand slows my running down. It's kind of fun. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez, she better not have said anything about, about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you really can really see her doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like that I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metamorphical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was a good practice. Alright. Last but not least, Siori. Hey. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Dakota. Er, thanks. Mm -hmm. Siori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Eh, of course! Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Dakota. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer to everyone else? Wait. Of course I do! But that doesn't mean I need to still try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Yuri. I know you have sometimes to put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength or something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life, so sometimes it's just easier to write things when I'm thinking about you. Siori? But no! Dakota! I don't deserve this! You're too nice to me! Why are you doing this? If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier! Siori! 
Siari. I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me that I will cheer you up. It's nothing, Dakota. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a bit of Lily today. Siori. Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That... That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is this mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh... Stacking ears common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Looks like the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, uh, seems like you're right. <sighs> Sayori will always help lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run out to anyway? I thought she just wanted to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of course all the times not go home with her. You pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Siori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival operation, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle all that by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So Yuri will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Huh? Guys, can you help me come up with something with Yuri? I can help you, but first, a water break. Dad's bathroom is pretty. It's really close to his office. It's right next to the desk I'm in. I'm pointing towards where the bathroom's at. It's pretty quick. I... I'm useless. N no! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know! N now, now Suki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sierra enough courage, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader of my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Dakota. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that! In fact, both Asuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's 
Is Marco City and I spent a weekend with one of my club members? On Earth. Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a little bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Um, if I can recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Tsukuda may not be liked to be around if you only make him out of nutrients. So therefore, he may be more suited to his rate of decorations. Hold on! I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds like more like you're making excuses for Dakota too. But what are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Dakota to decide how you like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in. You literally just said I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez! Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Dakota, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Okay. Ah. I don't even know. I don't even know. If I have to choose first, what do I do? Well, since Yuri has the courage, I'll start with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Yuri. Me? Are you serious? Why would you? Natsuki, I can already tell that you're about to say something mean. But no! I was just saying, ugh! So you'll be having Yuri then, Dakota? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear! Natsuki, you'll be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is, is that everyone we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited might not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Dakota? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. Well, about you, Natsuki? Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No, that's not what I meant at all. Uh, uh, Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I, I don't really know why Dakota picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting mature, mature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all, all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing, but I'm going to say this. Huh? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Uh, I believe you. Yeah, I hope I see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. All right, let's get out of here then. Um... Eh? Yes, Yuri? Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way to contact you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe this slipped my hand- my mind. I almost said hands. Should I give you my phone number? 
I think that would be the best way. Yes. All right, then. Maybe we just change phone numbers. I got a virtual girl's number. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by our house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the going one to your house since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, it won't be a problem. I say. I hope I managed to make himself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. In reality, I'm creative as F. Don't underestimate yourself, Dakota. I think we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's the what I want to do. The but... Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... I believe you. Alright! Awesome! Totally awesome! Yachty! And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. I can't believe this. You're just going to be coming to your house on Sunday? It's already Sunday. <laughs> I've been getting increasingly anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. Tell myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri's clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit of when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile. Siori? Hi, Dakota. You haven't come over like this a long time, have you? Ah. I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? If you came over more often, it would have been such a mess. That's because I ended up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to be see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan on the meetup or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Yuri then? Yep. There's more silence between us. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when it's something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... That's not... That's no good, Dakota. Eh? Why can't it be just like that? It's always been. This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, even if I didn't make that stupid mistake. 
then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my pessimism, isn't it? I'm getting punished for all being so selfish. I think that's why people of the world decided to have you to come over today. It just wants to torture me. Hehe. <laughs> Sayori. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> you really put me in a trap, Dakota. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Siori? <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Dakota? I guess I have no choice in this time. The thing is, I've had really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I'm getting sleepy. Hi, Siori. Eh? Why is that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's not only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Dakota. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. No, it's sweet when people try to care about you. I have some people that care about me. Feels nice sometimes. But it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Siori, but I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Dakota. There's nothing. Nothing at all. There's only a thing that could have helped if, if everything could be like it was always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. I made you join the Lotus Club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's how I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Because I deserve every last one. Uh, uh. Dakota. Ciari. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Dakota. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Dakota, bye.
if you have it in a way you call yourself selfish, then you have to let it make you be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to be to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Dakota. The only time I'm not feeling is when I'm feeling pain. But your hands are so warm. And that's really scary too. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, ah. Uh, it's what I want, I promise. I, I think it would be nice then. Yeah. Yeah, wipe those tears off your eyes. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't! Please don't! If you do that, then I wouldn't, really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Yuri to meet at my house. Meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. I'm sorry. I don't know if I it would be a good, very good for me today. Do you understand, right? Ah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. You'll s I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I look forward to it. Okay guys, I'm gonna, it's getting late and I'm kind of tired, so I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and subscribe. Help me reach 14,000 subscribers, and, I'll might, and I might do a live stream or gaming series on Cuphead. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> this is the Colossal D signing off.